Johannes, two wins in a week at Carroll Road. What's more satisfying, 6-1 or 4-2? Uh, I think, of course, it was important for us to bounce back and get a win Tuesday night. I think that created the confidence stepping into the game today. But I think this one was important for the group because not everything out there today was perfect. And, and we struggled in moments of the game, but, but still to show the fans and the club and everyone that's that we are offensive minded we can create chances out of you know in a second we can score goals against every team in the league and i think that was important for the group because i think some of the wins we've had so far we've really also fought hard to get them uh where today it was not perfect but we still managed to get it is that as satisfying as a really slick performance when they show grit and character to turn a result around yeah and i think to be fair to the boys they've they've done that a lot so far this season uh some tough moments as well where they have they have yeah definitely done what they could and, and fought hard in in some moments so uh, i definitely think they do but it's a uh, it's always just good to have a win where where towards the end it's even and you score that late winner and 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 still after that late late winner the third one we, we keep on going to score the fourth one so we kill the game completely so there's many things in the game where especially on the mindset and mentality i'm, I'm really pleased about we're getting used to you coming away with a win and then still saying there's stuff to work on. So what will you what will you take away from this one? I can see in this league still if, if we need to com- compete on the highest level in this league, which is definitely the ambition, um, then the amount of goals that we concede is not good enough. And I think we, again today, saw some, some mistakes in, in build-up which we should avoid and should be able to avoid. But again, it comes down to me. We need to make it more clear what we do in training and what we what we do from, from Monday to Friday so we can prepare them because we we have to avoid goals like this. Um, I think on the positive side is that goals like this, that is avoidable. It is something we can train. And it's not like we've been completely outplayed for uh, for the goals we conceded. There's some, some mistakes where we can see, okay, if we train well enough, if we make it clear enough for the players what to do, we can avoid it and we have to avoid it because we cannot rely on scoring four goals to win. A word for Ante Sienatz. How important has this week been for him? Ah, that's a uh, that's something that 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 changes uh, changes things. Um, I think we spoke to to him and also the, the rest of the coaching staff have, have done a, a great deal talking to him and and watching situations, training with him, and making sure that he he uses the the strength that he have. You know, he's so such a physical player. He, that left foot is so so dangerous. But we didn't really see it within the first ten games for him. So. It's about finding the timing and the movements and positions for him, and then of course showing him the trust. and And I think now it's a uh, now now we are getting there. Now he's also enjoying to be out there with the with the teammates, and I think he's about to show everyone what he's what he's made of. You said in your press conference on Thursday that if we win today, we're back. Are we back? I think we are. Uh, I think for us to be able to compete, like I said, on the highest level, we have to look at the, the amount of of goals that we concede because. Yeah, like I said, we cannot we cannot rely on scoring three or four goals to win every time. We need to also to to be able to win one nil once in a while. Um, so that's definitely something we need to look at. Uh, it's it's avoidable, like I said. We can we can train it. We can make it more clear to the players how to react and how to deal with those moments uh, because it is that will be the be the difference for us uh, to take that next step and to be able to compete on the highest level. So. Uh, so yeah, I'm pleased on behalf of the boys today because I think the response in the game was was so well. I think after the first goal, so well from the boys. After what we conceded, so well towards the end. Uh, so I try to to focus on that today. But when we start again tomorrow, it's uh, it's how we can improve and be better.